hello guys welcome back to our channel code elevate in the previous video we created a new page and we called get post by id api from our angular application and we displayed the details of the post and in today's video we will create like post api in our spring boot application so let's get started so to create the like post api we need to open post service implementation and here we will start writing a new method and the return type of this method will be void and we can name this method as like post and after this in the params we need to accept the post id so we will mention long and we will name it as post id and in the body of this method first of all we need to get the post so we will create one optional variable of post and we will name this as optional post and after this we will use post repository and we will call find by id method and in the params we will pass post id and after this we need to check the availability of our optional post so we will write if condition and in this if condition we will use optional post and we will call is present method and in the body of this if block we will create an other object of the post and we will name this as post and we will set the value in it by calling optional post dot get method and after this we need to update the like count of this post so we will use post and we will call set like count method and now we need to pass the updating like count so first we will get the existing like count by calling get like count method and after this we will use plus sign and we will add one in it and after this we need to save our updated post so we will use post repository and we will call save method and in the params we will pass post and after this we will write else block and if our optional post dot is present returns null then we need to throw an exception so we will write throw statement and we will create new entity not found exception and we will pass the message as post not found with the id and after this we will attach the id which we are getting from the params and with this our like post method is completed in post service implementation now let's copy this and let's open our post service and let's mention it here and now we need to create an endpoint to call this method so we will open the post controller and after the get post by id method we will start writing a new method and this method will return response entity and we will name this method as like post and after this in the params we need to accept the post id so we will mention at the rate path variable annotation and after this we will mention long and we will name this as post id and in the body of this method we will write a try block and in this try block we will use our post service and we will call like post method and in the params we will pass post id and after this we will write return statement and we will return a new response entity and we will call ok method and in the body we will set a new string and for the message we will pass post liked successfully and after this we will write a catch block and in this catch block we will catch entity not found exception and we will name this as e and in the body of this catch block we will write a return statement and we will return response entity and after this to set the status we will call status method and we will return http status dot not found and after this to set the body we will call dot body method and for the message we will use our exception and we will call get message and at the end we will annotate this method with at the rate put mapping annotation and for the url we will set it as slash post id slash like and with this our like post api is completed now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the postman and let's test our like post api and in the postman from the request types we need to choose put and after this we need to give the url which is localhost 8080 and after this we need to give the endpoint url which is api slash post and then we need to pass the post id so let's pass it as 100 and after this we need to mention slash like 
and now let's click on this send button and as you can see we got an error and the status is 404 not found and the message is post not found with the id 100 which is a valid error message and now let's go to our mysql workbench and let's see how many records we have in the table of the post and in our mysql workbench we will open the tables drop down of our blog server database and after this to view the data we will click on this icon and as you can see we have the two records of the post and the id is one and two and the like count for both of these is zero now let's go back to the postman and here we need to update the id and we will give it as one this time and now let's click on this send button again and as you can see we got the status 200 ok and for the message we got post liked successfully and now let's go back to our mysql workbench and to refresh the data we will click on this icon and after the refresh we can see the like count of the post with the id 1 got updated to 1 and that's it for today's video in the next video we will call this api from our angular application and we will create comment entity.